as kids, we always think of what we want to be when we grow up. Uh, and that usually extends up until we actually hit the point of what we end up being. What does that have anything to do with Eric Erickson's seventh stage of uh, psychosocial development? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to, well, as I literally just said, the seventh episode of the eight stages of psychosocial development. This particular episode is going to be surrounding something considered, as you see in the title, generativity versus stagnation. Now, the reason I brought what I did in the beginning is because this particular stage, taking place between the ages of 40 and 60, somewhere in that range, um, it pinpoints somebody finalizing what they're going to do for work and expanding at that pretty much throughout the rest of their life, their working life at least. Now granted, some people do keep working past their 60s, like my grandparents for example. Um, they worked way past that. <laughs> Um, but that's kind of irrelevant. This particular stage talks about the idea of pretty much solidifying exactly what would be done. It's where it's in within the same time range as pretty much when, when any adult would solidify the rest of their life. They would like be, okay, this is how I want to lay it out, this is how it's going to be, let's act on it, kind of thing. Now, not everybody goes through this kind of marker, though. There are some individuals who will just... They won't act on very much, so they won't really leave much for a legacy to happen. These individuals are where stagnation comes into play. What I described beforehand was exactly what generativity is. It doesn't leave much room for a, a legacy to take the individual's place, leaving questions on what would be next. When, where generativity aligns some kind of this is what I've done, let's see how you, the next individual follows up, stagnation is when somebody becomes, usually generally it's, it'll take place when somebody's very uh, lax and the person will go, well, I've done nothing, you do all of it. To like the next generation which would trigger like the negative sides of all the previous um, stages of this particular uh, theorem. This isn't always the case. There are some occasions where special occasions where the reverse could be the case where generativity could actually take place but the person following would be very lazy anyway. Or there could be some circumstances where the stagnation uh, side ha is what lays out, but the follow-up individual in the next generation would look at them and go, yeah, I don't want to be that, and they'll like do the opposite. So not, it doesn't really always affect the next generation, but the actions that lead to which one plays out will definitely always affect the individual going through this stage at the point in time. Generally, I, when I usually meet individuals, they're going through the generativity and they are approaching it with very, sh for, with much surety to what they're going to be doing. Every now and then, though, I'll come across somebody who is opposed to that. 
No, it is what it is. There's not. There's always going to be room for self improvement, or self change in someone's life from one of these stages to the other. Um, but what I'm guess I guess once you hit the mid sixties, you've pretty much solidified whatever you ended up doing. It'll impact a person's mindset definitely within the last stage, which we will talk about next time. But one way or the other, I guess there's not much else to say about these two other than that. Do you guys have anything you'd like to add about this stage? Let us know in the comments below. If you missed any of the other stages discussed so far, click the link on the side of my head where you'll find um, them, and possibly the next stage if you're watching this later on. Want to check out any other videos that you guys might enjoy a bit more? Click the link on the other side of my head where you'll find that there. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in this video, everyone. We hope to catch you all in another. See you guys later.